There we go. Okay, perfect. Good morning, everybody who's watching this on replay. We just did um, our, like, morning gratitude video, that, like, four-minute video that we've been doing almost every day. So um, I'm going to be doing the Make Cause Miracles on my own because I haven't listened to the introduction to week five yet, so I'm just going to listen to the introduction of week five, and today is on my own. But so bright out here. Okay. It says, please pray. Yesterday, discipline. Today, let's play. Yes, play. The two go hand in hand more than you may realize. Do you have fun in your daily life? It may not seem important or brave to make play a priority, but you have to be brave to step away from responsibilities, to dismiss the lie that your career will fall apart if you spend some time having fun. Play outside. Play with your friends. Do the things you loved to do when you were a kid because it reconnects you to a simpler time. Stress wasn't so, quite such a thing back then, and your heart was in a simpler place to live and love. It's almost like a deep breath on a hard journey of courage. I was on a mission trip in Scotland, and our whole team was arguing. Some things had gone wrong, and we had just been in tight quarters for too long. So, so our team members canceled a three-hour afternoon we had planned instead of going to our team. I don't even know what that word is. To go play Ultimate Frisbee. <laughs> People were slamming into each other and running and jumping and flying through the air. It was really aggressive, and we started out mad. But do you know what happened? We ended up laughing. It was a great example of how play can heal and how play matters to us and why we've got to do it. Being disciplined and being brave are not easy tasks. If you don't make space in your life for play, you will burn out. You will be in the spot where you're fighting for, you're fighting for brave because you're feeling failure well up and fears arrive uninvited and there will be no healthy release so play brave people know that it's okay it's not just okay to play it's healthy this day that you're in this is the day the lord made you can rejoice and be glad in it you can have fun and laugh and be peaceful about your to-do list because god is in control and you can have total peace in him and then it says do something really fun i love that we were talking a lot about like taking care of your health and i think that that's really important that doesn't mean not work your business, but. <laughs> okay. So my tip for today is going to be, this is going to be so short, you guys, but I just wanted to talk about like what I focus on during month end. Um, I know that I've been kind of gearing the push stuff around that. Um, and hopefully you guys are still thinking that that's good content. I still have yet to come up with a better way or something that's new or exciting or whatever um, to do things. And I've been hearing a lot of top leaders going back to like push stuff because it works. So I'm just going to continue to show up every day. I'm going to continue to post value for you guys every day. What you do with that information is up to you. So my strongest suggestion is if you are truly serious about your promotion, do them. If you don't know where to start, that's not an excuse. There's a million videos and 12 leaders ready at your beckoning call and you're simply not utilizing them. So don't come to me and say that you don't know what to do. Um, the other thing is during month end, especially when you're pushing for a promotion, it is so crucial to take advantage of every moment. Like, I'm not joking you, I take month end so seriously that very, very rarely will I make plans anytime between the 25th and the first of the month. Like my friends, my personal friends who are not in this business, sorry, there's like people moving, so if it's up. Um, but people know this about me. And like literally my friends don't ask me to hang out during that time, like they just know. So, um, making time management a huge priority yes take care of your health yes do something fun i'm not telling you to be on your phone 24 hours a day but i am telling you that this is the time that you're going to be making sacrifices and if you're truly willing to do whatever it takes you will or you won't um so time management making sure that your chart is up to date from the second the 25th hits through the end of the month because new volume is coming in 
all the time. And honestly, you would be surprised at how like people won't put something in the boom chat or an LC comes or excuse me, an LC orders like a one time order or whatever. And you go in and your volume's up and you're like, Oh my God, like where did this come from? No one even signed a new LC or whatever. And when you go into your downline orders report, that's why I have you guys check that because you can see every single order that is coming in for your whole, whole organization. So whether that's a new distributor coming in, a new customer, a distributor placing a one-time order, a website fee, a loyal customer placing a one-time order, like whatever it is, you can see all of it. That is why I love our back office so freaking much. So be checking that every single day. Um, the reason that I have you guys do that is because if you don't know how far you are, you're never going to hit it. So if you know exactly how many distributors and how many loyal customers you need to achieve your goal, it is so much more inevitable, especially because you start speaking it. You're going to be talking to your enroller and upline about it. Um, so paying attention to numbers is like, oh my God, so crucial. And then this is the time to beg. Like if you are again, pushing for a promotion, which every single person should be, um, you are going to be like asking people that you never thought you would be asking. Like this is the time to refollow up with the family who maybe isn't so supportive or whatever and be like, look, nothing that breaks the bank, but I am pushing for a promotion that would allow me to do X, Y, and Z. You're going to want to like tell them what this is going to do for you. Um, so if it's going to pay off your credit card debt, tell them that. And then just say like nothing that will break the bank, but would you even be willing to try something out just to help a sister out? Right. It can literally be fat fighters for $25. Okay. That is a qualified customer. So making sure that you're putting up a post either about the BOGO deal or about the opportunity every day that you should, that should be like totally, um, like reiterate. I don't even know what the word I'm trying to look for right now is, but like redundant. We talk about that all the time, right? Following your daily six list, you're going to be doing the same things. And I still send new messages all through the end of the month, but I focus heavy on follow-up, like massive, massive follow-up at the end of the month. You're going to be breaking out all your journals. You're going to be following up with everyone about the deals. You're going to be following up with everybody about the opportunity. Um, and just having those good conversations. Like, honestly, once you decide that you're going for your promotion, you figure it out. Like, you just make it happen with your team, you know? And if you don't have a team working, that's okay. You can still hit your promotion. So that's kind of my two cents for today. But just stay focused. Keep your eye on the prize. And I'm excited for you guys. Your numbers are insane. Like, we haven't had numbers like this since this time last year. We've already surpassed our numbers from last month, which is really exciting. I want you guys to give yourselves a pat on the back for that because that's something that has been a huge personal goal for me this month. And we did that. So good job. Small win. Um, now it's just pedal to the metal. So decide, take action. If you're in a shitty mood, get your mind right. We literally don't have time to waste. Like I want to be that person that tells you to get on the horse or get off because we're going. Um, and I don't say that rudely. I want everybody coming, but I can't do the work for you. No one can. So, and I can't make that decision for you and I can't do the self-development for you. And that is the only reason that you're going to promote is because all three of those things are in alignment. So I love you guys. Have an amazing day. Enjoy the sunshine. Play. Have fun. Make your business a priority.